What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the new Samsung Galaxy A6 faster. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is pull down the shade here, tap on settings, and then from here, go down to the bottom, tap on about phone, then you're going to go down to software information, and then where you see build number, you're going to tap on that a bunch of times, and then you're going to have to put in your PIN. And now developer mode has been turned on. So with developer mode, you'll be able to change some things on here that will make the device faster. And you'll see on the main settings page, developer options has now been enabled. So now that you're in developer options, you're going to scroll down until you see the animations. So you can see here we have window animation scale, which is set at an animation scale of 1x. We have transition animation scale, which is set at an animation scale of 1x, and we have animator duration scale, which is set at an animation scale of 1x. Now, with these animations, you have a variety of different options. So you have the ability to turn the animations off, you have the ability to put them at 0.5x, and of course 1x is the default. There's also 1.5x, 2x, 5x, and 10x. So I recommend kind of playing around with these different settings to see which one you prefer. Of course, if you change the animation scale to anything higher than the default at 1x, you're not going to make the device faster. You're going to make it slower. So you can switch it to 0.5x or off. So let's try 0.5x first. So with 0.5x, you're going to notice that all the animations are twice as fast, which is great when opening up folders and starting different applications and you know pulling up things like the gallery and the camera there's just going to be a little bit less of a delay there when starting up these different functions because you have changed the animation speed so 0.5x is pretty awesome but if you want to speed up things even more you can go back to the settings and you can change it to animations off so you can turn these animations completely off and you can see with the animations off, there is no delay at all when opening up any of these folders, starting these different apps. And also this device has a lot of RAM, which means that your applications are gonna run in the background with no issues at all. So combining that with animations off, it almost makes like every function on this device like really quick and instant. So that's really amazing. So I'm glad that you have the option here to kind of mess with the animation speeds because it gives you the ability to make the device faster. So we're going to go back here and kind of experiment and see what happens when you set the speeds to 10x, which is the slowest speed. And you can see already with just changing the first option here, it is just ridiculously slow. I mean, I don't know of anyone that would actually use the 10x animation speed and be able to actually use their phone on a daily basis like this because you can see just how slow everything goes here and it just takes forever to start up different apps and there's just really no practical use to this <laughs> so I mean maybe you could try kind of setting it a little bit slower than the default 1x if you really wanted to but I know for me personally I think 0.5x is kind of the sweet spot because it's a little bit in the middle and you know you'll get faster speeds but you still get some animations but really the way it is right now setting it to 10x just is not practical but we'll go back to the settings here and we'll switch it over to the default again but i really do think 0.5x is probably the best of them all but now we have it all set to 1x so if you're curious about the impact that this might have on your device, there is no negative impact. I've heard some people say that sometimes it can kind of change the battery life, but the great thing is that you can easily reverse this by switching your animation speeds back to 1x. Now I personally haven't noticed battery life being impacted by using this trick to make the device faster, but if you are, just keep in mind and remember that it is completely reversible. You just always have that option if you just want to completely reset things and go back to the way the phone was when new. 
But I do think that this is a very practical trick here to make your device faster, and I, I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't want to do it. So all in all, I mean, I've had a great experience with using the Samsung Galaxy A6. So I'm really impressed, especially with the cameras in this device. Now, I haven't had a chance to create my full and final review yet, as I've been really focusing on creating these tips and tricks videos, but eventually I'm going to be creating my full review. But the cameras are really awesome, especially the front-facing camera. That's a really nice surprise here, considering that it comes in at 16 megapixels. You also get a front-facing flash with this front-facing camera, which is a really unique thing, and I really haven't seen too many other phones that feature a front-facing flash. I think it's a really good idea. And I think it's a great alternative to people who sometimes have to flip their phone backwards if they want to take a picture and it's dark outside and they can't find anyone and take that picture for them. But you're going to get great low light performance with this camera and just combining that with the front facing flash is just kind of a slam dunk here. Also the display has been a great surprise. Now this display is kind of limited at 720p resolution, which originally I was kind of disappointed about, but as I've had a chance to use this phone more and more. I've noticed that it's not a bad thing at all, and well, yeah, I mean, I would, I do kind of wish the display was 1080p, but having it 720p isn't bad. I'm able to watch videos with no issues at all, and I think what's most important about this display is that the colors are really solid here, and, um, you know, that's really important because sometimes I've used displays that are 1080p but have bad colors, so really that's the most important thing here. But another thing too is that the processor has been really solid so far. This device runs the Samsung Exynos 7 octa-core processor, and it's really good about keeping the device nice and quick. Combining that too with 4 gigabytes of RAM has just kind of made this thing a really great surprise because I wasn't sure what to expect considering that the price tag of this is around $200, which definitely makes it kind of a lower to mid-range device based on its price tag. But Samsung did a great job at optimizing this to run really well, and I think that the Samsung Exynos processors in many ways can be sometimes better than the Qualcomm processors. It just depends because there are some lower-end Qualcomm processors out there that sometimes are stuffed into these budget phones. Now one downside about this device, and I wish they would have included it, was portrait mode. Now they, you know, they put all this money into putting in these 16 megapixel cameras on both the front and rear, but there still is no portrait mode. And portrait mode is a feature that we're seeing more and more on pretty much all high-end devices, but now it's starting to kind of trickle down into the lower-end devices, and that's just not found here on the Samsung Galaxy A6. So maybe in the next generation we might see that. Another downside with this device is that it doesn't have uh, wireless charging which considering that this has a metal back on it, that's one of the reasons why they physically can't do wireless charging. You have to have a glass or plastic back on your phone to do wireless charging. So maybe in the next generation they could add wireless charging as well. Another downside of this phone is that it doesn't have USB type C. I was really hoping to see that on this device as that's kind of the future and that's where things are heading. We've already seen that even Apple is starting to include USB type C on devices such as their new iPad Pro, and I've seen a lot of newer, kind of lower end devices having USB C as well, like the ZTE Blade Max View and the LG Stylo 4. So I would have really liked if Samsung would have included USB type C on this device to use for charging. Now, a great bonus too, though, is that this does still have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now that's kind of a peripheral that we've been seeing going away on almost, you know, devices across the board. Mostly the high-end devices nowadays are kind of omitting USB-C, but even some of the lower ones don't have that anymore. Now people might be wondering too if it's good or bad that this device doesn't have a notch. And for me personally, I don't mind the notch, but I don't necessarily care for it. I'm kind of neutral when it comes to the notch. So considering that this doesn't have a notch isn't really a bad thing either. And this phone is really more of a traditional form factor. I think this is good for people who don't want to kind of experiment and try out a phone with a notch as this is kind of just an, like a, you know, an average Samsung phone, at least the way the form factor goes. So just in general, I, I think this is a good device. And if you want to buy one, definitely take a look at the video description and prices might be changing there as well. I always try to keep my descriptions updated with the lowest prices I can find. So definitely take a look at that. 
But thank you so much for watching this video. This is Kevin Breeze here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other videos I've done about the new Samsung Galaxy A6, as I have quite a few of them here on the channel. And I still have that full review I need to work on and complete, and I'll be uploading that eventually. So just keep an eye out for that. But thank you so much for watching. This is Kevin Breeze here, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody, and bye.